Mothers with newborns have no access to hot water. One toilet serves for dozens of people and there's garbage everywhere. This is how life is in the makeshift camp outside of Moria, in one of the biggest refugee camps in Europe. Human rights groups and local authorities have criticized Greece for overcrowding and poor conditions. Moria is currently operating at almost three times its capacity. Can you uh, bath a 10 month baby with cold water? Can you? You can't. Food here is not clean. It's not safe. Last night, uh, me and one of my neighbors, we went to hospital. Dozens of children are coming down with chickenpox and their mothers have no water to tend to them properly. Adil is one of the founders of the NGO movement on the ground that is active in Moria. He has been in Lesbos for three years. He says that the hotspot and the makeshift camp outside cannot accommodate so many people. It's obvious that we are not meeting the minimum requirements uh, when it comes to sanitation and hygiene uh, standards. And it has mainly to do with that there is no uh, movement of people to the mainland. Uh, people are waiting very long. Uh, there are people here that are almost for two years waiting uh, their asylum procedure. So women with small babies don't have hot water, but men a few meters away do. We are trying to build a community together with the people that it concerns. So rather of seeing these people as victims of war, as needy people, we try to empower them and see them as human capital. When they're asking for the minimum hygiene standards, refugees and migrants here say that what they're really asking for is their dignity back. Things that are taken for granted in Europe here remain unreachable. Feidul Geri, Euronews, Moria.